Good afternoon, beautiful left backs. Good afternoon, collective. Welcome back to another video. I'm divinely destined. Uh, yeah, happy birthday, beautiful love bugs. Celebrating your birthdays tonight. Happy Libra season. Happy birthday, Libras. Celebrating your birthdays. Collective, I have a message. It's general. Take what you need and just leave the rest. We see the Queen of Wands. The overall energy is the Queen of Wands. Yeah, we 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 know we know about the Queen of Wands, or we should be studying about the Queen of Wands, okay? If you got some time tonight, go research uh, the Queen of Wands and the logical meaning of that. Usually indicating someone extremely attractive, uh, very, very beautiful, very, very gorgeous. So there's some sort of opportunity that this Queen of Wands has. Yes, they've, they've made this happen for themselves by being persistent, by being consistent and, you know, staying the course. Or, you know, if you're resonating with this message, yeah, that's 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 the key to success right there. Yeah. We got the Queen of Wands with the Knight of Cups next to the Tower and the Knight of Swords. Wow. Some, something is coming in pretty fast here for this Queen of Wands, male or female. Take the message how it resonates. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm hearing that. That don't impress me much. The Queen of Wands may not be impressed or over overzealous or over enthusiastic about something here, okay? But you know, be appreciative nonetheless, Queen of Wands. Okay, be appreciative, be grateful, yeah, <laughs> be gracious. Period. We see the Emperor. This could be a love offer um, that the Queen of Wands is not concerned about at this time. Okay, she could be focused. Uh, more on the business side of things at this time. Okay, take the message how it resonates. Yeah, we got the Three of Swords next to the Emperor. I knew she wasn't overzealous or uh, she's not impressed here. The Three of Swords next to the world. Mm. Yeah, this could be somebody that wants to spend a block and come back and present some sort of offer to the Queen of Wands. She's not impressed. He's not impressed. The King of Wands. He's not impressed. This could be somebody you haven't seen since the year 2020. Okay? 23 years. Two to three years. You could be a Virgo, September the 18th. Yeah, this could be somebody that was deeply obsessed with you and wanted to harm you in some way. Of course, the Queen of Wands is not impressed. I'm telling you, the energies, the energy don't lie. You don't trust this person. Or something like that is here. Take the message how it resonates. I see the Ten of Wands. <laughs> the Ten of Wands next to the Four of Cups. The Queen of the Queen of Wands has 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 she is she got experience. She done been there and she done done that, and she ain't got time for it. And she's not gonna entertain that. That's the energy that I got here, and the energies they don't lie. Okay, you, the Queen of Wands is very gorgeous. The King of Wands, uh, very handsome. Yeah, you're, you, you got options here, <laughs> okay? Yeah, with the Two of Cups, you definitely got options. This, this offer that uh, someone wants to spend a block and present may not be something that the Queen of Wands is impressed by. That's what I got for this message. It looks like it comes with a lot of burdens, possibly heartbreak and pain. The Ten of Wands and the Three of Swords, it looks like it's going to inevitably end rather abruptly with the Knight of Swords. If you take an X bag or viewer discretion advice, the possibility for it to uh, end uh, is very high here or end again. That's why the Queen of Wands is not impressed. I'm telling you, the energies, they just don't lie. We got the Six of Pentacles here. 1986 is here. You could be 42 years old here. <laughs> this could be somebody you used to work with or you met at, at some sort of work setting. Look at all the money. The Eight of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles. The Queen of Wands got, uh, she got better things uh, coming in for her. The King of Wands, he got better things coming in. They've been making uh, this their reality by being persistent and consistent with their work efforts. You know, the Queen of Wands is very business smart, very competitive, and they 
they get a lot of stuff done. Yeah, they could be they could be they could be very authoritative. Okay, don't play with the Queen of Wands. Don't she's not that one you want to play with, okay? You see the Two of Swords says, "Yes, I'm building my empire." <laughs> okay, yes, that's my 10 of Pentacles. Yes, that's my Ace of Pentacles. I put the work in with the 8 of Wands. Yes, you could be in a communications field here. You could speak for a living, okay? Yeah, you put the work in, the Queen of Wands put the work in with the 8 of Pentacles. Yeah. You could be like self-sufficient, uh, independent type of individual here. You could be 38 years old. I rebuke dark energy in Jesus' name. You may be someone that paid for your, all your equipment, okay? You paid for your cameras, all your material. You paid out. You single-handedly paid out with God's help, okay? Period. That's what I got here. You could be a mom. You could be a father, Okay? Period. Yeah, you're very enlightened uh, and very in tune, very intelligent. I see a business person here that's got a ten of pentacles, baby. Congratulations! You're building generational wealth. Go see uh, where Gemini is located. Gemini speaks the the zodiac sign of Gemini uh, speaks about communication. You definitely could be in the communications field, or there's something regarding communicating, communication, possibly needing to look out for correspondence uh, or communications coming in in the future here. Queen of Wands, King of Wands. Take the message how it resonates. 1966 is here. 1986. October the 8th is here. October the 6th. This energy is current. August the 3rd is here. March the 3rd is here. Wow. You could be 55 years old here. August the 3rd here. March the 3rd here. May the 5th is here. May the 6th. May the 8th. Wow. May the 10th is here. You could be 22 years old, 26 years old. 2019 could have been a significant time frame for you. Yes. You could be in your 20s. I got 24 years old. 34 years old. Okay, take the message how it resonates. 2019. July 2019. You could have went through a... Uh, uh, Spiritual ascension, spiritual ascension is here. Spiritual progression is here, okay? Yes. Spiritual evolution is here. Yeah, you waited for this. You've been patient, or you should be patient. The moon energy next to the three of wands, yeah. That's somebody that's, you know, they're being patient as they wait for their turn. And they're uh, keeping themselves busy, uh, maintaining themselves while they wait for their turn type of energy. Period. There's some strong in there's strong indication of opposition. <laughs> the devil being here with the strength and the five of swords and the five of swords. That's some sort of heavy ass opposition. Yeah. Your third eye was targeted here. You could be someone that is gifted with all the clairs. Okay. You could have the gift of sight here. Some something about your third eye here. Somebody tried to limit your ability to see certain things. Uh, tap into your ability to see certain things. Steal your ability to see certain things. Block your ability to see certain things. This could be a copycat born in uh, November or they got heavy water in their birth charts. You you world class. I'm here. World class. You got world class ab abilities and you tapped in. <laughs> you tapped in. Period. Go study the angels, the archangels, if you got some time tonight. You may see uh, a story about angels. You may see a story about archangels. Pay attention. Okay? You may actually hear an angel in a dream. You may see an angel. Pay attention. You may see angel wings. You may feel an angel's presence. You may see rep random coins or feathers. Okay? Pay attention. I see August 19th, September 19th. That's Virgo and Leo energy. We got Scorpio energy with the death and the six of wands. Yeah, so there was some sort of heavy uh, opposition uh, regarding this very successful individual here uh, that's resonating with this message. Yeah, if you're in the public eye, uh, it looks like somebody was, the opposition is is the someone, someone's here that was trying to take you out of the six of wands. You don't necessarily have to be in a uh, public eye, but that's here. This person was trying to compete with you. They're incompetent. This could be a male. 
what's wrong with him okay what's wrong with him i'm picking up on big big boogie okay you may love him yeah he said you built your hatred off just looking at me what's wrong with you yep he said the devil tried to to beat god to beat him he said get out of here man okay so this may resonate with you yeah and the devil got kicked out of heaven for overstepping his boundaries with god okay just understand that our enemies will be dealt with wow mm. so yeah this is what we got here the queen of swords with the three <laughs> you could be an executive a female executive is here uh, a female assistant uh, a prominent female here very smart person period period <laughs> you could have a lot of people that got a crush on you uh that have that wouldn't mind spinning the block okay <laughs> you're on television now you're a world famous athlete now <laughs> yeah that type of energy you're a businesswoman now okay you own your own business it's here yeah let's go ahead and wrap it up i see i see one 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 the ancestors are here don't forget to light a candle for your ancestors. Grandpa is here with the King of Cups. He's keeping an eye on you here. Yeah. There's something about money here. Stability here. It's spiritual with the Six of Swords. The energies don't lie. He's protecting something. You got a grandpapa. He's uh, protecting you. Okay. Spiritually. Period. Yeah. There's some fool that's been a treat. Um, what's the word? Intruding. Impeding upon something sacred here and grandpa has stepped in here with the seven of wands behind the scenes with the eight of wands approved to do so by god with the sun somebody's been forced out here or they're trying to force you out and grump and grandpa is aware of this yes mm -hmm. how do you go from the ace of pentacles the ten of pentacles the queen of pentacles to the five of pentacles somebody wants you broke with the five of pentacles this could indicate somebody that is broke that's been behind the scenes uh Hiding some sort of animosity and jealousy towards you. Okay? Period. Collective. If you guys want to go further, I'm available. God bless.